Hey everyone, welcome to this overview of the Personal Pro Dashboard, which is a way to more deeply analyze your heart rate variability and other behavior lifestyle data so that you can pursue your goals, whether they're health, performance, or stress reduction related. So it's super easy to get to Personal Pro. You can log in on the homepage, the Elite HRV homepage, or under the products section as well. And uh, once you log in, you'll be taken to this dashboard, which is your starting point. You'll see there's a navigation menu on the left with some cool features that Personal Pro has. But the dashboard is your first place to look at what's going on and give you an idea of what you want to look at more carefully. You can look at it by the day, the last week average, or the last month's average of readings. So here you can see my readiness readings, as well as my average heart rate variability scores in a number of different calculations. Interestingly, my heart rate variability is down about 4% from last month. Now, personally, I'm not that surprised. I know I've been spending some time late at night watching Game of Thrones episodes. And for those of you that are familiar, those are not very relaxing ways to spend the night. But we will see now what else might be driving this. Now to do that, I can click on the trend section here, which takes me to some really powerful charts and graphs that I'll go through in a second. Choose a date range, and you can look at it on your computer screen versus trying to figure it out on your small smartphone screen within the app. Um, I'm going to choose my HRV score and my readiness score. I'm going to make both of those line charts. And now I can compare it to, say, my exercise or sleep patterns. I picked exercise, and immediately I can see I had this big red readiness score. Where it was only 3 out of 10. Um, and I can see right before that I had three successive very intense exercise sessions. That's a clue that it probably drove my HRV, down, actually in this case, up in high recovery mode. Now, the good news is by avoiding those intense exercises for a little while, I was able to bring it back to normal. So it's just an example of ways I can look at my HRV and other behavior uh, tracking that I have within the app. And by the way, we're going to expand beyond sleep and exercise to things like blood glucose, energy levels, mood, body weight, and others. So it's constantly changing and there'll be more powerful tools uh, as we go along. By the way, you can see there's always help available at the touch of a button. I can always click on our uh, smart help function here and search through our library of articles on how to use these charts. Here's another type of chart I can do within Personal Pro that I can't do within the app, and that's analyzing my tags. Most of you are familiar with tags, but they're just ways to track anything you want in your life that you think might be impacting you. So I track things like when I'm woken up um, out of sync, when I fasted the day before, uh, if I eat late at night, if I'm feeling ill or have an injury, if I had a mentally stressful day, if my baby daughter woke me up in the middle of the night. Now I can see how my readiness score, my HRV score, and my RMSSD, which is just an underlying value of HRV score, but is very, very highly cited in the research literature, how all these things change when I have readings with these tags associated. So what happens if the night before I ate late? Well, right away, I can see that my HRV scores are down and my readiness, my RMSSD is down as well. So that's an interesting sign that late night eating has a probably not good effect on my stress levels and ability to tolerate additional stress. What happens if I have a mentally stressful day? Again, same thing. My scores are down. What happens if I have uh, was woken up abruptly? Not as bad, but it's still down as well. So I'm starting to learn certain things that happen to me can impact my own ability to tolerate stress and ability to recover from things that I want to do, like train, um, or perhaps it's getting healthier. It's a great way to learn about yourself by using tags and then using this chart over time. I also have scatter plot charts, which for anyone who's familiar with statistics, you'll know this is a great way to see if there's a relationship between a couple variables. So I can use this to see, hey, is my HRV score related to this other way of measuring HRV called high frequency? Um, which is also has a lot of research behind it. And I can see right away that, hey, there is a pretty tight relationship. So maybe I can look at HF, high frequency, as well as HRV score when I'm uh, trying to understand what's going on with myself. By the way, if I want to learn more about that, I can always go to help and I can type in frequency here 
to get some articles around what it is. So that's some cool things you can do with Personal Pro. There's a lot more here to explore and try out and see, but just to give you a flavor for it. I can also look at the same information as a table format, if that's an easier way to look at it. And I can choose again what data and what columns I want to look at. Um, I can even create one page reports with specific readings if I want to take them to my doc or my coach or uh, perhaps a, a consultant I'm working with who's helping me with you know stress reduction or leadership or whatever else. So we can understand what's going on uh, more readily. So we have some help articles on what's inside this report and how you can read that stuff. So that's really a very, very short and surface level introduction to Personal Pro. There's a lot you can do here. There's a lot of help available to you as well. And we're changing things all the time. So we'd love to hear from you if you try it out. Thanks for checking it out.